Okay, hello everybody for this week's vlog episode. We had to choose between two different films for um, this week and I chose to watch the movie Agari, The Wrath of the Gods, which was produced in the year 1972 and took place in the Amazon rainforest of South America. It was about these explorers that were trying to take over the country and they were attacked by Native Americans and um, trying to work their way through the rainforest to get to um, to become wealthy and famous and this movie gave me particular vibes like about Lewis and Clark with them rafting down this river and all the native people watching what they're doing and some even attacking them and trying to find, figure out what they're doing as these like people they've never seen before have came through <clears throat> and just start and just showed up out of nowhere in these native people's world and it's based on these people are trying to uh, claim to try to spread the word of God to these to this darkened world of these native people is one of the things that they mentioned by a priest that was with them on this raft that they built to go down the river, and so it's a, it's basically them trying to act as Christian use their Christian beliefs to make some of the decisions whenever they encounter hardships along the way. And that sort of thing. And so the task for this movie was we had to f inter we had to find some interesting uh, some interesting things about this movie. And some of the stuff that I found uh, reading is that, like I said previously, they they the movie was filmed in the Amazon rainforest, which influenced the movie Apocalypse um, Now, which was made of oh, a decade later after this movie, less than a decade later after this movie was um, produced. It's, which is which is interesting because this movie set the trend for some other movies to be filmed in the Amazon and and to use the Amazon as like a background or setting for some of these movies that come down the road afterwards after this and the equipment for this movie is what made this thing such a stand which is what blew me away the most the crew only, the film crew only consisted of eight people and one stolen camera which blows my mind to think about it. that's all they had to make this thing like you look at today's world you have like tons of cameras and people all working together in order to make movies and stuff like that and make these like these movies today look so good and, and interest people to come to watch them and you look back here like the year 1972 and these people only there's only eight people total and one camera and yet they still got this movie finished and produced which is making it that much more impressive um, the other thing is, is that this movie did not have a lot of funding, like, it was said that Herzog, Werner Herzog, the producer, even had to sell some of his own personal items just to pay for the crew's breakfast, which is an incredible hardship that you had to sell your own items just to make this movie, which shows that he was willing to get, wanting to get this the movie produced no matter what it took. And no matter what the hardships they came they came across, they he wanted to get this movie done and finished, and for and, and and published, which just made it that much more impressive how how much commitment Herzog had to this, um, had to this project and movie. And speaking of Herzog, he actually threatened to shoot one of the people of the cast that was gonna try to leave because they didn't want to they didn't want to be a part of this movie anymore and had been we got the person's name was Klaus Kinski. And Herzog threatened to shoot him if he for trying to leave, if he tried to leave and leave them there and not try to take part in the movie anymore, which and which is in which is insane and interesting at the same time because it makes me wonder why he still went through with this if the guy just like, why would you show up and do a movie for this guy if he's gonna shoot you? If you tried to leave, and this movie, and this movie sounds like it was impossible to make. So, that's just another thing that makes this movie adds another layer to how interesting this movie actually was. That they don't actually talk about in the movie, and it's just this production and what it took to get this movie made is like insane. Like the crew and the director were pushed through insanely hard times to get this movie made. And the river that they um, shoot in this movie, when they're paddling down this river on this raft that they made, basically out of stones and logs, um, according to Herzog, rose somewhere between 15 and 20 feet, which is 
and which is and which is incredible considering how high that is in water levels in their location and rafts and stuff like that that they had set up for this to film this were actually swept away by these high current rising water levels which which was definitely unfortunate and a bad break that mother nature had to do that and they had to build all new things and find a new location to shoot from it had to deal with all these different things going on which basically makes it this movie a one of a kind that the crew were basically pushed to the to the very limits of mother nature and in income just to get this movie produced and it's incredible what a group of people can do when they come together to do something and set their mind on doing something which is something that i found very interesting those are some of the interesting things that i read uh, um, about this movie and that is all i have for this week's vlog and i will see everybody next week for another vlog episode